Country ASMR here. Today we're gonna do something a little different in Minecraft. The 1.21 release, Tricky Trials, just dropped. Maybe about 15 minutes ago I saw that it was available. So you're gonna notice that my game looks a little different today because I'm in 1.21 and I do not have my shaders. Um, Obviously, Optifine has not been updated for the new update yet, so we're going to play in plain vanilla today, and I thought what we would do, I started a brand new world here, and um, I thought maybe we would explore and see if we can find any of the interesting new um, update items, like the trial chambers, maybe if we're lucky enough we can find one. Uh, so this is a brand new world I just created. It looks like we got lucky, like we've got a village right over here. Let's go see if we can find anything good in the village. Um, in order to find a trial chamber, we're going to have to try to go down in some caves. Those are usually going to be, I believe, underground. Uh, looks like there's actually a cave right here. We might be able to check that out. No way, do you guys see what's over there? There's seriously a mushroom island right there next to spawn. How cool is that? That's amazing. It looks like a pretty large island too. We might have to go check that out. It's not a tricky trials item, but you know, it's still pretty exciting when you find one of those. They're pretty rare. So let's see if we can get there's some sheep here. I think I might have to kill a couple of those to try to get some crops. Or, some crops. I'm looking at the crops here, and I said crops. Um, some wool is what I meant. So we can make a bed. Uh, unless we just want to borrow from the village here. I don't really like to take the, vet, the beds out of the village. This little walkway is super weird. It's bugging me. Um, I don't normally take the beds out of the village just because then there's going to be possibly a villager without a bed. But actually, this is a shepherd's house. Maybe what we'll do is borrow some of the wool from up here. And it is floor here. And I'll just replace it with something else for now. I think I'll just take the white. That way I can... um. I have enough for a bed. I'm going to take a couple extra pieces. He's probably like, what are you doing to my house? Um, that way we don't necessarily have to settle for yellow. We could have it be whatever. You know what I think I'm just going to do is pick up the yellow and put the carpeting over on this side. And then I'll just put wood over here, which means we need to find, we need to cut down some trees. I am going to do my normal thing where I take my take the um, composters and put them down here because it bothers me so much when the farmers continue to jump off of the composter and ruin their own crops. So this is kind of nice. It's a lot like the Serenity world where we're like we spawned right next to a village that normally does not happen. I'm going to borrow a few of their crops here. Um, I may come back later and fix these gardens so that they only have a single water space. I usually do that. That way I can, if I'm close to the village, I can actually come over and plant crops here. Technically, I think we could actually make the spaces wider too. Like if I... I felt this takes forever. I need to make myself some tools. Oh. Oops. Okay. Well. Oops. I don't want a painting. I want sticks. Okay. Let's make a pickaxe. I would like to, um, 
go collect some of that coal that was over on the hill as well so that if we go down into a, a cave over there where uh, we have some lighting because it is definitely with especially without the shaders it's gonna be super dark down in the cave so we're gonna need a fair amount of torches to be able to see what we're doing it's gonna throw me off because I'm gonna be so not used to that now that I've been using the shaders shaders if you guys have not seen from my other videos when you use shaders the torches themselves actually give off light so when you're down in a cave you don't necessarily have to place torches everywhere if you guys hear chickens i believe they may be right outside the window right now so that would be why there's some background noise Let's just turn the rest of those into planks right now and maybe a couple more sticks. I wanted to make, oh, these wooden tools are so, like, useless. They last for such a small amount of time, although early game it's the best option. Um, I do think there's a little bit of coal down here, too. Oh, there's a cat up there on the side of the hill. I just noticed him. Alright, so we can do that. And then, I don't really want to spend a lot of time, like, rearranging this garden right now. I just thought that it would be helpful to collect some food. So let's, um... I also should probably go ahead and make my bed. Let's just make that and then I think I saw some flowers up at the hill to the side here. So we might, yeah, there's a few different ones here. Um, we might be able to, let's see, what color do we want to do our bed? I think maybe just blue would be nice. I do like orange if we could find a red flower to go with the yellow one. We could make both. We could mix those to make orange dye. But I don't really know if there's any red. I'm not seeing any red here. The white, all these white, both of these white ones will just make. Um, well, that looks like a pretty big cave, too. Maybe we should go check that out. It looks like it goes down a long way. It's really strange after you play... Oh, there's bunnies up here. How cute. Um, I was like, what is moving so fast across the screen here? Here's red, and there's a bee way over there in the distance. So actually, this spawn is quite interesting. It's got a lot of biomes very in a very close like range. We have a mushroom island over there. We have this is regular plains, like this is a plains village. Over there, there's some savanna. We have a jungle. We have um, taiga over here. That's kind of great. Here's just regular forest. I don't know if this is, uh, this might be like a flower forest here, I'm not sure. Oh, there's some chickens up here. Alright, let's make some dye and then we can, that was a lot of work to try to find some red, just to make an orange bed here. should, as I was 
So let me see how much coal I can collect over here, and once I do that, we'll make some stone tools and torches, and then we'll head into that cave. I don't know if it matters if we go into the cave here or the one up the hill, um, but I'm tempted to go in the one up the hill just because it seemed like it was a lake deeper. I don't know. I didn't really go over and look at this one yet. But that one looked like there was a waterfall and it looked like it just went straight down all the way to Deep Slate. So I kind of am more curious to check that out. I don't know, they're also not very far away from each other that for all I know they could be connected into one big system, I'm not sure. wonder if this goes down into a cave, it looks like it goes down quite a ways. I did set this game up the same as the Serenity um, settings where I have Drown Damage turned off and I have Keep Inventory turned on, so I do have cheats allowed. These rocks are super weird here. Oh boy. There's... Where'd he come from? Let's just try not to look at him. I don't even have a weapon to try to fight him. Alright, so we've gotten the upgrade, or we've gotten the achievement, getting an upgrade. Uh, I probably should make... I don't think I really need to bring my Etho with me when we go. Let's try to get a little more stone here. Alright, so we do have some cooked which is good. Let's make the rest of our make it these into sticks so we can make more tools here. And then as many torches as we can make. I think Let's see. There we go. 
that's better. Uh, I'm gonna take that wall and make this just a regular little roof thing. He's like, stay out of my house, you keep ruining it. <laughs> Shut the door in my face. So it looks like we do have a mason. I'm gonna look in the houses to see if we have any chests of, you know, anything useful like bread or anything. Oops. Well, apples are useful. I'm gonna take all this stuff. I always feel kind of bad when I'm like raiding a village, taking all their stuff. Oh, here's one. And we found some bread. Good. This cartographer is like, why are you taking my stuff? So this creeper is going to be bad news if he blows up near me. I'm going to be dead. Seriously? Well, that's not a very good start to our exploration. Uh,
it's really hard to hit him through that little hole. I was trying to do it because I thought, oh, maybe it would be easier, but... Oh, I got a bow, and it's not even... Usually you pick those up from the skeletons and they're like totally broken. I just want to find some iron. This is like brutal here. My pickaxe is about to break. Oops. Yeah, this is really kind of hard to do without any armor on. Um, I should use up the rest of this thing if I can, if I'm just mining stone. gonna say I hear a skeleton. Oh, I got him just in time. Well. Oh, this looks like it's like another exit. I see sky, it looks like. Ah, there's some iron right to that skeleton. At this rate, we're never going to get <laughs> get anywhere. Alright, well, maybe what I should try to do is swim down in the water a little bit because there were some areas here where it was pretty deep. Maybe I can find iron in here. I seem to find a lot of iron, um, it seems to be a lot of it underwater, I've noticed. There's some right there. Oh, this dolphin's grease is actually making it harder for me right now. Okay, so there's actually quite a few, um, chunks of it right here. So, there's some up there too. Oh, there's a little bit more. So I think I have a pretty decent amount now. I don't think I have enough to make myself like a full set of armor or anything. A 16, that's, but I mean, if I could even make a chest blade would be good, a good start. All right, well, let's get what we've got in um, the furnace to cook. that. Um, this looks really deep too. I should probably just check to see if there's any down here along the walls. Um, here's a little bit and some over on the other wall it looks like. It does take a lot longer to mine it under the water, but it seems like I have better luck finding it under the water. Whoa. This goes way down here. Ah, here's some. I'm sorry if this just turned into a boring video of me mining iron. I'm trying to myself a little prepared, a little more prepared to delve back into that cave, which this hopefully should help. Let's see if we can find our way back outside here. Okay. Let's see how much of that cooked itself while we were off. Oh, we're, it's done. Sweet. Okay. Acquire hardware. This is really what we needed. I still have this wooden pickaxe. That's kind of useless. Alright, so I want to make sure I make a pickaxe and then we'll do a little bit of... Oh, no, I don't. I want pants. Not another chest piece. Chest plate. Alright. Uh, so we're down to one bar, but we will have 
some more here in a minute. We can make boots. I guess we should sleep while we're waiting. And then we'll see how much we have. We've only got two left, so those will be done in a minute. Um, we should be able to sleep right about now. I've noticed, I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but if you're watching the sunset, as soon as the, the sun hits the horizon line, you can go to sleep. It's like exactly at that moment. It's kind of funny. That's what they consider night. The sun is down below the horizon. We're a little more well armed now, so let's see how we do. I don't know, at this rate, we're not gonna find any tricky trials um, content, but I'm trying. I know when my kids were playing and looking for them, they just were like randomly in, in a cave and then found it by exploring around. So, I that's so much quicker, but I really should be using up these old tools here. Well, I actually can because...
There's some iron up there too. I should probably see if I can't get that. I think some of it washed all the way down.
fish at all. They are super annoying. Oh, I took the first one out. a reason why they call this tricky trials. Look at all that XP over there, though. If I can keep collecting arrows from these, that would be awesome, because... seven arrows to begin with. I have 16 right now. Wow, look at all these wind charges. A honey model. Um, I need to put some of these. I should shut the store while I'm standing here looking. So we've got 12 wind charges in here. We have poison arrows, which I think you can get from the... those... What are those? Actually, that's not a shrey. That's a bog, right? I think it's a bog. Bogged? I'm not sure. I probably should leave my stone sword and use the iron one since that's better anyway. Honey. I think honey is good to drink, like, for healing properties, but if I drink it, I still have the bottles in my inventory, so I'd be better off eating my food. As far as reserving inventory space, um, I would like to collect some of the stuff in here too, like the copper lamps, because I think those are super cool as far as like something to, oh, an emerald, another emerald. Oh, so we've got a chicken here. I guess that was our reward for... I don't know what, what did we, for killing the, I still hear some silver fish, I don't know where they are, but I think I knocked some of the sh those box down too, I, maybe they are shreys because the floor tiles in here, um, go with whatever the mob is. So this is ice that makes me think those actually are shreys. Oh look, there's a whole bunch of stuff to collect down there. What is, what's that? What's the red and black up there? I don't know what that is. Oh no. We did get arrows of slowness, which is what they shoot. Um, I would like to repair this bow with the other one. They actually were both fairly um, in fairly good shape. Okay, so I'm going to place torches. You know, the only problem is I probably should. We're going to replace our stone one with that. These are stone axes. It's weird that there's scaffolding in here. Um, there's too much good stuff to collect in here, guys. I don't know what to take. Why is this not stacked? Why can't I stack that with this one? Brick, brick, brick. Oh, did I? I see. I think I picked that one up. Did I pick it up a whole? Yeah, I think that's what I did. Let's 
let's see what else we want to leave behind. Maybe some cobbled deep slate. I don't need that. Um, I can eat my chicken. I actually would like to take the whole barrel with me. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, there's these. These are another area where it's kind of like mines. It's a total puzzle. Trying to, um, there we go. I, I'm gonna have to. Okay, so something just popped out somewhere. Was it here? Wow, okay, we have three of them, and they're sort of fighting each other. So I'm gonna let them
it's nice that they have these bedrooms in here because you can kind of like hang out and then you respawn still in here. Um, I don't know how I get over to the other, oops, over to there. Oh, this is more of those. There's a lot of spawners in there.
the mob spawners all over the place, but there is a lot of really good loot in them if you... Okay, if you can get to... I... I really don't think there's anything here. I think it's like the edge of the chamber. I don't know. Alright, so there's another make a pretty loud noise when they break. So there's like a fountain in the center here. There's another one of those things. I thought those were like for the trial keys. I thought you could like unlock something in there. sure because it doesn't seem like it worked the first time I tried it. We're gonna have like a ton of bricks. Maybe we should consider building something out of bricks. Oh, there was another trial key in there. A curse of vanishing iron axe. Um, I don't think I need that. Okay, so there's a ladder there. still another area or like a doorway over here that I didn't go into. These are weird. Oh, there's just like a little alcove, but nothing nothing there. Let me go. I think it's this one. We went. This was the wall. This one we went down, and then this one we did not. Let's just check what's down here. There's a spawner in here. How weird is that? Oh my gosh. That's so weird. <sighs> Wonder what the chances are of that happening. A trial chamber with a spawner. Ooh, a shield. That might be useful to fight off some of those, um, the shoot arrows, there's several. Alina Rain. I'm glad to see that the that the discs I'm getting are not a 13 or cat. <laughs> Alright, so we're full again. This is sort of ridiculous how fast that happened. Um maybe I'll take this one piece of coal and make another four torches to put here and then that frees up well it doesn't free up any slots but at least I'm making use of the materials I guess um, I did pick up a lot of arrows in the pots because uh, I have more than a full stack now this is such a weird generation here I'm glad it wasn't a full of zombies. I think there was too many lights around it. It couldn't, they couldn't spawn. Alright, so. I don't know what we're gonna do about our inventory being totally full here. That kind of stinks. Maybe I need to shoot some arrows. At least seven of them I can free up one spot if I do that. There are still a lot of areas in here to see. I don't know. Wow, look at this honeycomb. We got more, more arrows. Um, the honeycomb would actually be really useful because I, then I could make bee boxes without actually collecting a beehive. That'd be kind of nice. All right, but what can we, I guess we can put this in here and take that. I'm gonna have to go empty out my resources again. Oh, you know what? I can eat this. Oops. <laughs> I did not mean to shoot an arrow. Um, okay. Do I, I have an uneven number of chests now. That's gonna bug me. I need to take it. Alright, so, the 
was at the dead end. Um, I expect there to be more spawners somewhere in here. Um, did I go? More arrows. Wow, we've got a lot of arrows. I guess this is a really good place to come if you need arrows. This is where we were, but we did not go. There's a bunch of um, things up on the second level, I believe, so I think we should take a ladder up. Actually, it goes up three. There's so much good stuff, I don't even know what to collect. Like, I could take these, but I don't have any space for them. We 
respawned in here anyway at least. It's silly, I should be using my bow.
exploring in here and then I think we'll wrap it up. We might have to come back in another episode if we can't um, explore this whole thing because oh, I didn't mean to fall off of there. Um, I think we've been in here for quite a while and we did a little exploration in the cave beforehand. Is this, this is the area, oh, I just fell again. Sure, let's try it one more time. I, yeah, it just launches it back at you. Those breathe, those charges, the wind charges are so loud. Okay, let's see if I can't collect all this stuff before he whacks me. He's like way up on the top. So there's like trap doors here. I don't know what these are for. This guy is considered a... a boss. Which I guess I can see why, because he is... Okay, there we go, we got him. And that gave us some big potatoes. Alright. There's a trial key over here. Um, oh no, what did I just activate?
Were we didn't finish 
separate thing. I should eat before I try to tackle him. He just keeps running away. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so I heard something pop open, but I don't know what it, where it was, which one. Like, I think child key just popped out somewhere. And uh, not that one. I would I would think it would be close to to where the breeze was, but maybe not. I don't know. I wonder if um those other whatever those other blocks are, if they open to spawn and we found a trial chamber in it that 
it's pretty amazing. Um, I don't know how rare of a spawn the trial chamber is since this is a new feature, but I'm still pretty excited that I was able to find one right away for you guys because I was hoping to be able to do some of the new features today. That's why I started the new world. So, we'll keep this world. Um, I will be back working in Serenity again, but once, um, once Optivine has been updated, I don't know how long that's gonna take. It may be a little bit, but once it's been updated, then I'll be able to turn my shaders back on and, and go into this world. But, um, I didn't want to go in the Serenity world and try to mess up settings with the version that I was using there with the shaders, so that's why I did the brand new world today. And I think it turned out pretty well because we were able to go explore some of those features. So, as always, I want to say thank you so much if you tuned in to watch today. Um, you guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you. You know, I am just starting out. It's been a few months. I started in at the beginning of the year, but I'm a small channel, so everybody that comes and views my videos is, you know, really appreciated. So thank you so much to all of you. And stay tuned for the next episode. I probably will come back in and see if we can do some more uh, tricky trials, exploration. Uh, since this is a new world, we probably should build a shelter or something here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there'll be some more Stardew Valley content coming as well, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!